Hello, everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Zoom. This is going to be our platform that we're using for our virtual assembly this year. We want you to be able to sign on smoothly, and so we hope that this video will help you out. To sign on to Zoom, you are going to need the link that was emailed to you. You will click on that link. The screen may automatically open up, or you will click on Open Zoom and it will direct you to our meeting. When you sign on to Zoom, um, you will see that there are several functions on the bottom of your screen. The first one I want to point out is the stop video. If for any reason you do not want your video showing, you can just click that stop video feature and you'll see there's a red line through the video. If you want to uh, share your video again, you click on that same button and you'll see the red line will disappear. The other feature is the mute button, which is right next to it. Uh, we will have several hundred people signed on. And so we ask that everyone keep their uh, microphones on mute. So to do that, you will just click that button again If you click it again, uh, that means that you- Honey, honey, can you let the dog out, please? It's Synod Assembly Day. Yeah, it's, it's Synod Assembly Day. Yeah. Thank you, awesome. Thanks, John. Thank you. oh. Hello? Yeah, hold on, I gotta make sure I'm muted here. Whew. Yep, I'm muted now. <laughs> So we do ask that you keep your microphones muted. Um, the other thing we I want to point out is in the bottom left hand corner of your video, you'll see that it says your name. Um, we would love to hear or see who you are. Um, if you have never set this up before, it might have a generic iPad or computer name. Um, so click on those three dots, scroll down to the bottom to rename and you can type in your name, click rename and you'll see that you appear there. That will help us uh, keep track of who is here and, and know who you are, especially if you're going to be speaking to any of the resolutions that will help us out. We would love for you to, uh, to interact with each other. A big part of the assembly is our fellowship together. There is a chat feature. If you click on the, the chat, a uh, screen will show up on your right side. You can type messages uh, you'll see there's options to type to everyone and you can type in a message to everyone or you can send a direct message uh, to to just one individual person and you'll see it shows up in red there um, that uh, that would be a direct message or a private message we are going to use the private message as a uh, for during the time of voting on resolutions and speaking to the different resolutions, you will be sending a message to moderator. And so you can look for that name in the chat feature. We definitely want you to use the chat feature, but definitely don't want it to be a distraction. So make sure that you be, are being respectful of everyone who is gathering there. Another feature uh, will be having access to um, the materials for both for voting, but also just the resources that are, we are using during the assembly. So if you need to um, exit your screen, you can click on meeting, exit full screen, and you'll be able to have other tabs come open. The Synod website, nwmnsynod.org, has access to all of your materials that you will need for that day. Um, and again, make sure you have access to your email as that will be the way that you receive the ballots during our times that we will need that to vote. Again, we hope that uh, this will help you to relieve any anxieties that you have. We know this is a different year, but we are grateful to gather uh, virtually for this assembly. Together, we're gonna do uh, the good work of this synod. We're gonna worship and we're going to remember uh, that God is meeting us here, however we are, are meeting and, and wherever we are at. Thank you for watching and we hope this helps.